We're making a different shape of cookie and decorating it with a very beautiful image of cherry blossoms. Now I'm just rolling out another batch of the beautiful brandy flavored sugar cookie dough. This is a two and five eighths square biscuit cutter. Just line them up, bake just like you bake the wreath cookies. This will make around 16 cookies. Once you cut the cookies, chill them. Bake on parchment lined baking sheets at 350 degrees for about 16 to 18 minutes. So these cookies are very nice golden brown on the bottoms, just a little touch of golden brown around the edges, crispy, delicious. You can eat them like that, but when they are decorated, they are a totally different kettle of fish. <laughs> so um, two egg whites, just break them up with the paddle. The confectionery sugar has been finely sifted, two and a half cups. Once the egg whites are broken on low, just add the sugar spoon by spoon. This is traditional royal icing. And there's all different kinds of proportions, stiffer for piping, thinner for dipping, spreading. And for flavor, a tablespoon of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. So if you find your royal icing just a little bit thicker, then you need add a little bit more liquid. You could add a little bit more egg white or a little bit more lemon juice. And we want to make a very, very pale pink. I'm using a gel food coloring. We want just one drop of the pink. So here we have our beautiful pale pink dipping, dipping frosting. Such a nice color and very appropriate for cherry blossoms. So now for glazing these cookies, dip just the surface, shake off the excess. You don't want it dripping down the sides of the cookie. And it should be a nice smooth glaze when it dries. If you do see any bubbles that bother you, you can take the point of a toothpick and just break the bubbles. The glaze will dry smoothly. So proceed until you get all the cookies dipped and glazed. So here are cookies. They've dried for 12 hours. They are perfect square pink cookies. And on this, we're going to paint our branch of cherry blossoms with a royal icing, a little bit thicker than we used for the dipping. So here's the same icing that we had. We want to thicken this so it will go uh, into a pastry bag. Otherwise, it'll just run all over the place. So you thicken that with sifted confectioner's sugar. And we're making three tones of pink for the blossoms. Now the frosting, if you want to save it overnight, make sure that you put it in a smaller bowl and cover it very tightly with plastic wrap. And make sure that when you're wrapping it, uh, put the plastic right on the surface. Now this is our pale pink, so I'll just keep this pale. And we want to make some a deeper shade of pink and some even deeper shade than that. Use the same gel food coloring. You can use a toothpick to add color. That's one color and then this one we want deeper. Do not get this on your clothes because you will have pink clothes. <laughs> I have bags already prepared. This is our deepest pink, medium, and our very pale. Now we need our branches too on the cookies. And for that, we use a brown luster dust and we want to liquefy that. And the best thing to liquefy these colored dusts with is vodka. Higher the alcohol content, the better, because you're just making a paint and you want it to dry almost instantaneously. And you want to put a pretty branch, sort of mimic a tree. And then it's dry already. And you just make little dots. This is a tiny little round tip, probably the smallest round tip, a two or a four. And you can use a star tip or a round tip. Then you can add the pink. 
And it does look like cherry blossoms. They're so beautiful. And you don't want to spend too, too much time decorating your cookies. And do you know why? Because it takes an instant to eat one. So the longer you spend, the worse you feel when whoever's going to have a cookie comes in and just munches something. So taking more than just a few minutes, I think, is a little silly. Oh, and look how pretty that deep pink really does bring out the look of those cherry blossoms. But what a beautiful, beautiful branch of a Japanese cherry tree. Let these set at room temperature until dry. It's going to take at least four hours. You can store them and they'll last for, oh, at least a week. These are as pretty as any picture.